friends welcome back to online pharmacy this is you and this is your online pharmacist so today we are discussing the part 4 which is probably the last part of our ointment basis which is the name indicate water soluble basis means the bases that are soluble in water okay so this is the fourth ointment base and we almost done with it okay so water soluble base as the name indicate that the base which is soluble in water or may incorporate a large amount of water in itself is known as water soluble base so what are the characteristics of these base that these are the characteristics that they do not contain oleaginous component oleaginous component means oil is absent throughout the preparation or formulation completely water washable they are completely washed by water whenever you apply water they may be washed completely greaseless why they are greaseless because the external phase greaseless why because the external phase is water h2o they are softened upon the addition of water whenever you add a small amount of water in it they may be will soften or become soft on application of water large amount of water cannot incorporate completely into the base yes because the external phase is not oleaginous so the large amount of water cannot incorporate if you are trying to incorporate a large amount of water then it will be runny flowy consistency and this is not suitable for our ointment preparation or application the most important the most important that they are used for incorporation of solid substances whenever you have to incorporate a solid drug solid type of drug like a powdered drug the active ingredient is present in a powder form so we may prefer to prepare a formulation or ointment with these water soluble bases or water soluble ointments okay so these are the most important properties that they do not contain oleaginous component as compared to other three bases we have discussed earlier in part one part two and part three respectively they are completely water washable this is same as that of water removable bases this property same as that for water removable bases so these are the characteristics of water soluble bases the third one which is the most important is the example how we came to know that this one is water soluble and what are the characteristics of water soluble bases so polythylene glycol the short term is pg which is most common among all of us is pg we always uh, used to, to denote it as peg the full form is polythylene glycerol it is a prototype example what do you mean by prototype example prototype means a rough sketch a rough diagram or a, uh, only um, scenario which is produced by any mean okay so this is a prototype example and in urdu we call it as namuna we have to say that this is the same samples hai. so this is the prototype is same as that so polythylene glycol the short is PEG the PEG is like the water soluble base so what are the properties of this water soluble base as a polythylene glycol so polythylene glycol ointment the polymer what is the polymer polymer is a uh, I'll make another video inshallah on this topic this polymer polymer is a compound suppose this is the compound okay this is compound this compound have repeated units like they all are circles they are repeating units as you can see in formula CH2 CH2 the both are same but they are repeating and forming a long chain and it is a long chain compound having identical macromolecules or large molecules what are macromolecules macromolecule means large molecules okay macromolecule means large molecules so what is polymer a polymer is a macromolecule or a compound having a large number of a large size of molecules present in it and these molecules are repeating over a time in the long chain or in the compound or in a structure so it contain a repeating units as we have C, CH2, CH2, these are repeating units. So, what is the polymer of the, uh, in polymer? In this polymer, there are two components. What are these two components? The first one is ethylene oxide and the second one is water. Means, this polythylene glycol have a arrangement of ethylene oxide in water in their structure. And the arrangement is, which, is of which type? 
it is a repeating units means the ethylene oxide and water are present then again ethylene oxide is present then again ethylene oxide then again ethylene oxide and then water 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 so these are the repeating units or forming a repetency in a component so in a compound it's termed as polymer so polyethylene glycol is a polymer of water soluble bases and the formula denotes that hydrogen is present oxygen is present uh, ch2 both two ch2 groups are compound um, in compound are attached with oxygen in oxygen valency okay and is the number what is n n is the oxyethylene groups oxyethylene means ethylene group is added or attached with oxygen so we are calling it as oxyethylene groups and no h hydroxyl group is also present which is negatively charged and hydrogen group is also present which is positively charged and ch2 ch2 are also mm, positively charged okay and oxygen is negatively charged so this is another topic but i also clear you time to time okay so ethylene oxide and water it is represented in this formula that they are repeating units and they can re repeat both of them in the formula of polymer of water soluble base which is pg polyethylene glycol okay understand now come towards what is the impact of molecular weight okay the impact of molecular weight is a very very important for water soluble bases as we are dealing with water soluble bases so they have a molecular weight like water because water is also have having a molecular weight so whenever the polyethylene glycerol its component is less than 600 component of which component means molecular weight whenever the molecular weight is less than 600 it is clearless colorless or liquid in which state it is present in clearless colorless and liquid state okay whenever the molecular weight of polyethylene glycol glycerol is greater than thousand then the appearance will be wax like white material and solids most probably we are using in pharmaceutical industry in the preparation of water soluble bases as well as water removable bases and whenever the molecular weight lying in between 600 to thousand polyethylene glycol may be semi-solid and it's also very important for ophthalmic preparations. So ophthalmic preparations as we have discussed for eye preparation, okay? And nasal also nasal preparations are included in that heading. So the general formula given in the USP United States Pharmacopoeia, which is the published or formulated journal from the United States, okay? That was a official formulation. This included two things: the polyethylene glycol of molecular weight 3350, and the second one is polyethylene glycol weight of 400 this 3350 it indicates what we are discussing the ranges of molecular weight so this molecular weight is greater than 1000 so it may be semi solid and the polyethylene glycol which is 400 this polyethylene glycol having a molecular weight of 400 okay so let's check there what happens it is 400 so mean it polyethylene glycol is less than 1000 so we have wax like white material solids okay so it indicates what that is also a wax like solid material okay the one is semi solid the other is solid and we have discussed in our slide that it is for solid preparations understand so what is the method of preparation as we are discussing continuously the method of preparation the formulation why because it is necessary whenever we are dealing with any ointment or something it is more much more important to discuss or mention the formula formulation that how we could prepare that by according to usp pharmacopoeia okay so that's why we are discussing again and again methods and formulation of different ointment bases in all four parts okay so the method of preparation is almost same but as the components changes as we discussed in our last video the water removal bases there was sterile alcohol it has an another property the other ingredients have another property like some are antimicrobial some were anti-preservative some were antifungal so 
different components different compounds have different properties and these all methods and all these different ointments are prepared for different applications different uh, diseases to target different organ to target or multiple varieties of problems to be solved by different kinds of ointments okay so what is the method of this this when we're, whenever we are combining the pg of this molecular weight with pg of this a liquid results in a very pliable semi solid ointment okay so the most important point you have to notice that the one is semi solid and another is solid or a liquid okay semi solid or maybe liquid and it is almost solid because the pg molecular weight is 3350 it's a solid okay so it's result in very pliable semi solid ointment why it becomes semi solid whenever you incorporate something in liquid solid especially in liquid it forms a semi solid consistency so that's why the ointment we obtain is of semi solid consistency okay so the ointment prepared is in semi solid form if fiber ointment is desired if you want to prepare a stiffer a fiber a thick this is a thick ointment dense ointment bulk ointment or having a greater or the larger amount of viscosity you must have to incorporate an equal part of ingredients okay so what happened the formula may be altered to contain up to equal parts of two ingredients so what it mean it mean that whenever you are want to prepare an ointment having a fiber thick and in density viscosity and having a higher ointment is desired okay so the formula may be changed and you should have to constitute equal parts of two ingredients like pg 350 and pg 400 they both are taken in equal quantities 50 50 percent okay 50 percent of this and 50 percent of this ointment okay so when echo solutions are to be incorporated into base the substitution of 50 gram of pg with an equal amount of sterile alcohol is advantageous in rendering the final product okay this is the important point for both the solid and a liquid but whenever you are incorporated an aqueous solution into a base you have to substitute that 50 gram of polyethylene resterol 3350 molecular weight with an equal amount of sterile alcohol you need to prepare a semi-solid ointment but with the help of pg3350 and sterile alcohol the amount is equal also this time so it's an advantageous in rendering the final product the final product will be according to your intention according to your desired preparation okay so this is most important that whenever you need a higher consistency a higher density a higher stiffness a higher hardness a higher consistency you must take the two or either it will be three ingredients or it may be four ingredients you should have to take it at a complete equal ratio then you will able to get the firmer or stiffer ointment base okay so that's all for today thank you so much for watching me and subscribing me okay thank you so much stay blessed stay cool and calm and stay tuned with us please do share and subscribe with your friends